host, Megalon Jones, and welcome back to a very special edition of the Sharp End of the Stick. The Fire and Rubble module has been released for Red Thunder, and I'm playing a single-player mission as the Soviets in north-central Poland in the city of Poznan. Poznan has been encircled and bypassed by a previous Red Army advance, and we are being tasked with reducing the surviving garrison at Pozan. As such, I've been given the 105 submachine gun company, backed up by elements of the 15th Battalion, including off-map artillery and on-map mortars. Poznan itself has seen far better days. Uh, basically, it's a lunar scape of shell holes, uh, craters, buildings blasted down to their foundations. This has more in common with 1916 than the open terrain of the Russian steppes or uh, many of the situations that you would find in a World War II release, but in a lot of ways, a ruined city is pretty much the symbol of the Second World War. The amount of firepower presented pretty much zaps everything in its way. As such, I have no intention of launching the main attack down the center. This is a death trap. But there is an alternative on my right flank. There is a series of buildings that have been somewhat untouched. I mean, they're still in building shape form, and I'm going to use the sapper platoon that's been attached to me to blast holes in it and maneuver forward. This also gives me the advantage of being able to utilize my one piece of armor, a tank destroyer. The road here on the right is relatively clear, allowing for freedom of maneuver. So yeah, that's my plan. We're kicking off at 740. Uh, second platoon on the left is going to be a holding force, more or less keeping the Germans honest, where I'm going to stack uh, the engineer sapper platoon and 1st Platoon submachine gun along the right. They're going to move forward, and hopefully we do not get a whole lot of building-to-building -building fighting here. This might be a good place to talk about the Red Army in 1945. Um, basically, I am front loaded with submachine guns here this is a submachine gun company almost everybody has a one of those little uh, papa shaw smgs that are sort of the symbol of the red army during this war the effect of that in that they're massed together in formation with submachine guns is that you end up with a tremendous amount of firepower uh at very short ranges which kind of fits exactly what I want to do here. We don't run into any opposition on the first few buildings that we funnel our troops through, but when we do, we are very quickly able to achieve some sort of uh, firepower superiority simply because of the massed SMGs. And when contact comes, it happens all at once. I go from one contact to two dozen within the span of about 30 seconds. These are German Volksgrenadiers, essentially old men, children, uh, the infirm. It's all the Germans really have left. They're civilians pressed into military service. At medium ranges, the Papa Shahs are able to uh, zap the Germans. This isn't even funny. The Volksgrenadiers shatter relatively easily and start to run within 
a minute or so of contact. The only trouble for them is that I've set up a really long harassing artillery barrage to the rear side of the map. So they're retreating into an arty barrage. We finally start to see some regular German army. This is Luftwaffe field divisions. These guys are better equipped, better trained. Okay, so we're about 10 minutes into battle here, and I've gotten my first chunk of reinforcements, uh, a rifle platoon. These guys are situated on the left-hand side, and as such, I'm going to shove forward the second platoon, the SMGs, up to keep the Germans from maneuvering or retreating back to the upper right quadrant where those intact buildings are. I don't want to deal with that. This is not going to be the main attack as 2nd Platoon SMG will be backed up by 1st Platoon Rifles. Attack kicks off frighteningly well, and the Volksgrenadiers melt away. But we start to get some stiffened resistance. The, the majority of the return fire is coming from Luftwaffe forces situated farther back. Because of this, I decide to shift a squad from the Sapper Platoon. Uh, into an adjacent building 
in order to relieve some pressure on the holding attack. These guys start off really well too, but they draw the fire of something really heavy. Right there. Somewhere out there, there's a German flag gun or a, a flag wagon or, or something with a auto cannon. Using bounds and rushes, I'm able to get the second platoon SMGs up to about two-thirds the way up the map when they run into a major problem, multiple minefields. The SMGs are all now pinned, and the rifle platoon behind them is starting to take enough fire that they have to go to ground. Essentially what I'm going to have to do is extract 1st Platoon rifles, try to keep the casualties down, and move them over to the right. 2nd Platoon SMGs are going to be stuck where they are. Not real happy about that, but I also play sort of in character. These guys are expendable. Well, we seem to have a real, real serious fight going on, and... The next turn, we're going to get another platoon, which I'm going to funnel them along the right flank, too. We're in sort of a weird space here. We got a new module and Cold War probably dropping this week. Maybe, we hope. Either way, I'm going to finish up this scenario here, and we'll just see what the future holds, and I hope Everybody sticks around for part two coming up very shortly. Enjoy your time. The Nemesis, a nuclear weapon space platform designed to protect America. Roger, on my way. It is 22,000 miles over the Earth when World War III explodes. Can't walk. I don't believe it. FCON 2. I have solid object alert. All right, look, it's happening, right? It's Jordan, it's happening. All right, then launch, Walker. You're all getting blown away. The launch, we get War One. Walker, fight! Do it. The Star Wars technology of the future. Becomes the reality of today. Defense Condition Four. For three astronauts, the mission that began in space will have its ultimate destiny on Earth. What they will find is unthinkable. Hey! They got hold of my hand! Hey, Walker! Get! What finds them is far worse. DEFCON 4. The final defense. <laughs> 